Right, time to put together the Grunstock Mortar, a uh, high explosive projectile, it sounds really cool. Right, so let's get up and running on this one. We're pulling out 35, 37 and 36. So 35 over here. Tended to find that because the like injection point is underneath the arms, it's best not to cut too close to begin with, and then you can kind of trim it down later. Quite a big number of parts to this one as well. And 37 over here. Poor lighting at the moment. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, so I think best thing to do to begin with is start with the leg. The leg attached as soon as possible. I don't know whether or not I'm going to feel um, upset or relieved when my Stormbringer collection stops. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm really loving putting them all together, but by the same logic, I've kind of put myself in a position where I have to be on top of them as soon as they come. And then, of course, there's the um, somewhat disapproving glare of my wife every time they turn up. But I kind of justify it by saying they're a lot cheaper doing it this way. Right. Of course, the general response is yes, but it's not cheaper than not doing it, which I can't really argue about there. Anyway. <laughs> 38 over here. Now the big heavy duty backpack number 42. Which, let me check. I think it might be on a different screw this. Hold on. Oh no, there it is. this go on it's just about making sure that you hook it into the right place as well so that it goes between those two little I don't know what they are like the little outer point
Yeah, I'm sorry. Putting things on the right way. What am I doing at the moment? <laughs> My brain's just shutting down. Right, now the actual mortar itself uh, 30, 43 and 44. Be careful with this, make sure you don't accidentally do what I almost did there, which is cut off a part of it by accident. <laughs> in this little bit here now, just making sure as well so and if the screws face outwards kind of dimples on it there well nipple whatever they're called I'm assuming the bolts right <laughs> and then get number 29 out as well ready Sorry, not, is it 29? No, it's 39. I swear I've got discalculate, dis, dis, numerate, disnumerate today. Every time I look at a number, I read a different one. Get one of the little points that I need to on this ready. I suppose I'm glad about that little pipe there on this model and I think the same was on the other one because it, it just makes it so much easier to get your arms aligned in the correct place. Just having an extra point of contact on them. Okay, I need 34 and 34A to these two little bits here. I wonder what this thing is. It's like some kind of, I don't know, weather gauge. Could be what it is. It could be some kind of weather device, weather monitor or something. Or even just the Caradron version of a, a standard. Okay, <laughs> that glued in a bit more. So there's also a grenade on here by the look of it, like a mortar ammo somewhere, which gets mounted on the base. I think. Where did I see that? There. So that goes mounted on the base. I'm not going to mount that on the base because straight away, because just makes things difficult for painting around when you've got things like that to deal with. Oh. So back, whatever this is on the back is going to be a pain. It does feel like it might be some kind of Caradron version of a, a standard. 
But there we go, so that's our Grunstock motor all completed. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.